look, my father has been incredible in getting a whirlwind shop fit done in two weeks, which really oh, only... Right. Right. And my wife, Jenny, she is, um, yeah, she's uh, stuck with me and... Uh, <laughs> and uh, I hope this is uh, a small display of, look, I, you know, I am actually now... Um, um, st uh, delivering, yes. So uh, <laughs> uh, I am really am not the easiest person to live with. But thanks, Jen, for um, staying with me. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, my right hand man, who is spearheading the new um, the new shop, will now not cut the ribbon, but formally uh, take the top off the champagne bottle and announce that the new Met, store, Met Quarter store is open. And may all who sail in her have fair seas, Mr. Reese Jones. <laughs> Well, I'm here because it's the opening tonight and you can just see in the background there, the Wolf of Wall Street suit is actually mine in the process of getting made. So I'm here tonight to be invited along, so I'll have to come along and see what's going on, because obviously they're a great company. Um, I'm here to support Nick, that's why I'm here. Right, okay. Um, yeah. okay. To uh, support his new shop. The Met Quarter. Yes, okay. Liverpool, so it's just opened up second week now, okay. um, but the grand opening was tonight. Well, shall I answer or would you like to you start? You go first. Nick. Okay, well, we're here to see Nick's new shop and I have to say, absolutely delighted. Uh, got a fantastic range of stuff, absolutely over the moon. It looks great. Uh, we're, in a, we're in a great location in the Met Quarter. So, curiosity, really. That's from definitely, yeah. Been the long term customers of Nick's and Peter's, so delighted to see the store open. Absolutely fantastic. As uh, Nick says, range of stuff inside. I'm not going to tell you about it, you've just got to come and take a look yourself. I'm here because I'm absolutely made up for Nick and Reese. I've known them for, I guess, about a year now. Okay. Uh, they are my tailors in okay. Liverpool, uh -huh. and now they're just my tailors, period. Very nice. Um, they're an amazing sort of family of a shop. Uh -huh. uh, they always do an immaculate job. Oh, well, I've been a good friend of Nick, um, the collier in Harlem Collier, for several years. I used to work for Nick. Uh -huh. And I'm just absolutely thrilled to be here at the opening of the new store in the Met Quarter and um, yeah, to be around so many well-dressed and you know, some quite long established friends, including yourself, Mike, of course. Well, so well, we, we um, hear the official delegation from the Free Republic of North Albia. <laughs> we have been invited to one of the most iconic fashion events in, in, in North England. Uh, in Europe, Nick, Europe. Nick, Nick made all the effort to invite me and Matthias Huber from North Albia too. Yes, I'm here directly from Germany only for the opening. So, uh, ich komme, yeah. I come aus Eckernförde, das ist das Ost, das ist das Süd an der Ostsee. So yeah, we, we made obviously all the effort to come here to uh, celebrate this wonderful event. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, all our clothes got rained on, so we had to come like this. We are really sorry. We are here because we're good friends of Nick's. Uh -huh. um, we followed the stuff for a long time. Liverpool loves the tailor and it's been, well, the shop's beautiful. Richie loves the suits. Richie's very into his clothes. They need to start doing women's tailoring. That's what I think. So we've just brought in our ready-to-wear range. Of course, we've always been doing bespoke since 1970. But we've just brought in our ready-to-wear range because they're so expensive. Okay. So for a classic business when you don't need to be wearing a bespoke every day. Right. Um, you can if you want, of course, yeah. but it's a very expensive investment. Um, so we've brought a um, small ready-to-wear range in, okay. um, grey and navy, nice. in a um, classic English wool cloth. Excellent. Um, ideal for business, of course. Three piece, two piece, what is it? It's 595 for two piece, 695 okay. for three piece. Okay. Wow. Hey, focus. Okay, sorry. Yeah, how long you've been working for Nick? Two years now. Okay. Um, of course, 
two years is a long time working seven days a week. And do you like working for Nick? It's definitely an experience. Uh -huh. um, no, but it's enjoyable. Okay. Fast paced, um, okay. but yeah, I enjoy it. Now, a bespoke suit is £2,500, so of course you cannot be in a basement on Stanley Street buying a bespoke suit. It's a nice environment if you appreciate the quality of the suit, but it's got to be in a more luxurious environment. Okay. That also gives us the opportunity to, again, bring our ready-to-wear range in, um, and it's all about the experience. A lot of people remember the experience, as well as the suit, um, so the environment is crucial. I think this changes the game for Harlan Collier. Um, Peter's been around since 1970. Um, I think this modernises the brand. It gives them access to some people that wouldn't have known where they were on Stanley Street. The, the great thing is that the likes of Nick and myself know where they are, but lots of people don't know where they are. This just opens them up and makes them much more visible and accessible to many more people. Yeah, I, I certainly I, I, I echo Colin's comments there, really. This this is very much going to get so many more footfalls, in, in my view, than, than on Stanley, which is a great location. But this is really cutting edge. This is where it happens. Uh, and I think you will I think you will see Holland Collie as a brand go stratospheric from this location. I think what always surprised me when I was first visiting Nick in the, in the basement workshop was the traffic and how many people were coming down, not just for alterations, but to get things made. And I just thought, wow, you know, if this was in a proper storefront, in a proper sort of shopping precinct, the possibilities would just be endless. And I know he's got the excellent Reese Jones on, on board, who's just a fantastic person with customers. So fingers crossed, I think, I think it's onwards and upwards for Harlan Collier now with the new shop. I think competition is great. Some people would be upset, and when you disrupt the market, you're doing it for a reason because there's an opportunity. Um, opening the Met Quarter would, is a very bold move. Let's, let's make no shakes about yeah, that. Yeah. But you know what? You've got the heritage brand of um, Peter Harland from 1970. You've got the modern twist from Nick, and those two things come together right here, right now in Liverpool. It's the time. Yeah, it's a fusion. It's a fusion of new and old. Yeah, I like yeah or new and established, perhaps, is perhaps a better way of putting it. I'm <laughs> not supposed to say this, you, you dirty old fish licker. For me, I'm really interested in the made to measure. I know Nick does good made to measure because I've seen him at work and I've seen him do it. Always the cloths for me, although I'm wearing a sort of a check cloth tonight, yes. I like a sort of a plain suit, maybe a nice flannel, wool, navies, greys, a bit like what they've got on display tonight. So maybe if I ask nicely, then Nick will be able to sort me out. I've got a graduation coming up in a year and wedding season coming up, so always on the lookout. You can never have too many nice suits, isn't that right? Yes, yeah, so we're at the opening, open, the public opening of Harlan Collier. We soft opened on uh, about a week and a half ago. And um, as you know, Michael, because we did our little teaser video, yes. uh, which actually has gone down quite well. People like that. I mean, our top product is um, two and a half thousand pounds. You know, so we need we need to we need to offer that level of customer experience as well. This new shop, beautiful environment, and the shop fit. You know, very bespoke shop fit, um, individually tailored items that have gone into the shop not just like a mass bought oh we'll get that from ikea you know it's all bespoke in there and and it kind of fits in you know, the language of, of um, the ethos that we have to the suits to create as well the cutting will happen in here of course the main part of the construction of the suit happens back in over a workroom which we've had we've had various video we've had videos over there haven't we you know um our button, everyone remembers our buttonhole, our velvet buttonhole video. Fantastic yeah, video. yeah. Yes. Well, in the Met Quarter, we're open seven days a week. So, and the Met Quarter branch is primarily consultation, designing with the customer because um, we're making this from scratch. So, it can be a one off, whatever you want, you know. So, we'll go through. I mean, we can do it in half an hour. We would rather have a good couple, a good hour or two to go through with the client what they're having, you know, because it's an important decision. Gonna do it, let's do it properly. This is my sister. This is my sister, Laura Collier. <laughs> <We're not laughs> We're just so, so proud of him. To see our Collier name up there is amazing, and he's done so, 
so well, you know, to really battle it out really from the beginning. So we're super, super proud. We have battled, we, we battled, battled. Yeah. <laughs> Did I shout at you earlier? You didn't. I never Good. get a shout yeah. out. Was that moment? Oh, did <laughs> no, did, did, did I shout no, at you? Shout no, no, no. We understand each other, don't we? Yeah. yeah. So I can tell when you're at the end. And we get we got on fairly well as children, didn't we? Not too bad. I learned my fighting skills from Nick, which is zero. So <laughs> fine. Right, see you later. You've done great. You go to Savile Row, I've been there. You feel, you feel, you know, life is short. It's about the experiences that you have. And um, goodness me, I felt like unbelievable when I was on Savile Row. There's an element of wanting to let um, the people around me experience what people experience down south on Savile Row, you know. It's incredible. And life is short, it's about the experiences. I think I said in a video a couple of years ago, our aim is to be on Savile Row. I mean... And so our ambition is to be on Savile Row one day. I said it probably won't happen, but we will have fun trying to get there. That's what we're aiming for. We probably won't, we probably won't get down there. But like I said in that video previously, um, it's about the journey and we will have fun getting there. You know? You're stocking us, yes? Yes, we are stocking. <laughs> try, not to, try not to make this sound like, um, you know, but we are stocking you and um, thank you for your gift, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful. This looks like, um, it's got a bit of a Barathea start. Now it's yeah. not an evening jacket. It's not an evening jacket. However, yeah. It's got a bit of a Barathea style mm. weave to the cloth, mm. which Barathea is um, Very nice. uh, an evening kind of, uh, uh, traditionally an evening wear cloth. If when Michael walked in this evening, I think a lot of people, not Michael, but a lot of people, could, I've got a red jacket on. I think a lot of people look and think, wow, mm. Mm. not, so it's always, it's, I think it's always something to think about that it's you feel perfect. more mm. self, uh, conscious than, than other people think you are and in, 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 in terms of that I would say be brave be braver than be brave yeah you've done an amazing job so far and I and I'm sure uh, this is only the beginning so uh... I think it's a real statement of intent for Nick he's got his workshop and now he's got his shop front which is, which is a big deal this is really cool especially for Liverpool as well we, uh, we work at the Essential Journal this is one of the fabulous directors I'm the newly appointed project manager. Um, yeah, it's all around the city. It's brilliant. I love it. So I'm wearing a um, three-piece made-to-measure, two-piece today, uh -huh. but it's a three-piece made-to-measure um, cloth from Holland and Cherry, and their classic worsted book, which is a nine-ounce um, English wool cloth um, in a classic notch lapel single-breasted, two-button suit with um, two-inch turn-ups. So, something different. I'm wearing a shirt by Turnbull and Nasser. Um, the jacket is Prada. Uh, the trousers are by Geese and Hawks, but you can't see the shoes, and they're by Churches. Yeah, well, similar. First things first, church shoes. Uh, I don't know the make of the uh, 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 purple, purple moleskins. I've got a Brooks Brothers uh, uh, waistcoat on and a Jaeger uh, pea jacket, pea coat, so there we go. And I, I don't even know whose shirt this is. I think it's mine, actually. You probably, that probably, it probably is. Probably another <laughs> term more than that. This is Harlan Collier Made to Measure. Uh, I've had this suit for about 18 months. I absolutely love it. Um, I've got slide adjusters on the trousers. Nice slim silhouette. There is a jacket for this as well, but tonight I've taken the jacket off. Um, this shirt is from Geeves and Hawks, but it's getting a bit worn out now, so maybe it's time for me to pick up a new shirt. And I've just got some old brogues, which I've had for years. Churches, Reese, Canali. I'm wearing Reese, this Reese, Whistles, uh, Topshop. So what are you wearing? What's that? Okay, this is uh, one of Nick's suits, Peter Marlin's suit. A long story short, pretty much everything on me right now is TM Lewin, save for the tuxedo itself, the dinner jacket. Uh -huh. That's from a company called Alexander Savile Row, uh -huh. which I had heavily modified a couple years back. I can't, I've lost track. 20 plus, 30, made to add 20 odds. Um, so here we are, Halland Collier, opening store over there. It's still ongoing. Um, it's been a, it's it's been good, you know. Um, I think Nick did an amazing job in setting this store up. So uh, I think it's going to bring him a, a lot of joy. Hopefully, Nick, 
uh, I believe in you, man. Um, this is a nice store. I'm glad I was part of this somehow. Stay tuned, stay stylish. See you later.